Shalom, welcome to Rob and the Rock. I'm Rob Vanoff, and today I want to zero in on the name Yehoshua and look at how it's spelled by the scribes. There's a couple different ways that it's spelled, but there's a, a misunderstanding uh, going around out there, uh, and people are saying things like Yahusha and Yehosha. It, it, that's all nonsense. Uh, let's look at the actual scribal tradition. That is the authoritative tradition for how we say the name Yehoshua. So what I want to show you today is a variety of ancient Jewish texts, all of which feature the name Yehoshua, translated as Joshua, son of Nun. So all the uh, images you see here are taken from ancient manuscripts, uh, and they're all referring to the same historical figure, Joshua, son of Nun. The first uh, you see here is taken from a manuscript from Qumran from the Hasmonean period. So this was not written in Qumran. This was written elsewhere and then taken to Qumran at some point uh, during the span of that community. As you can see, it's written in Paleo-Hebrew. And the letters here are Yod, He, Shin, Vav, Ayin. And it spells Yehoshua. If we were to write, write that in Hebrew, it would be in Aramaic script, rather, Yod, He, Shin, Vav, Ayin. And the vowels would be a Shiva, Cholam, and then a U sound for our Vav there, and then a, what we call a furtive Patach, Yehoshua, Yehoshua. So for those who think that that U sound was not present, uh, you would be completely mistaken and ignorant of the actual Jewish scribal tradition and the variance in spelling of the name. Uh, the, the next manuscript you see below is the same. This is from a, a larger passage of scripture that says, Vayomer Yehoshua el ha'am. And Joshua spoke to the people, and it's Yod, as you see here. Yod, He, Vav, Shin, Vav, Ayin. And again, the vocalization that the later Masoretes would put to preserve the proper spelling, Yehoshua. Yehoshua, Yehoshua. So there we have it. Yod, He, Vav, Shin, Vav, Ayin. Again, now this is from a newer period where Aramaic script is starting to be used. Here's another one. Uh, this is from the passage, Vayakam Yehoshua, the Kol Ha'am HaMilchama. And Joshua rose up. And as you see here, we have, or right below this time, Yod, He, Vav, Shin, Vav, Ayin. Yehoshua. So the spelling with the Vav between the Shin and the Ayin is quite common in uh, ancient Jewish writing. Here, from a completely different scribal hand, as you can see, sadly this one is torn a little bit, but it is Vihoshua, Vav, Yod, He, and then it's broken. We can imagine that there's a, a Vav in there. Shin, Vav, Ayin. Yehoshua. Here in this particular style, the Vavs and the Yods have a little hook at the top of them. Vihoshua. But again, Hoshua. Yehoshua. Not Yehosha or Yahusha. So if anybody is telling you to say the name of the Messiah is Yahusha, they don't know what they're talking about. They're just go the other way, ignore them. They don't know what they're talking about. Um, here, here's another example. Look at this. Also from Qumran here at the top. This says Yehoshua ben Nun, Joshua ben Nun. It's Yod, He, Shin, Vav, Ayin, and then of course ben Nun. Bet Nun, and then Nun, Vav, Nun. Again, the vocalization would be Yehoshua, like that. Uh, and from later manuscripts, just like this beautiful one here, the Damascus Pentateuch, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful Yod, He, Vav, Shin, Vav, Ayin, Yehoshua. And we could see it again. Here's another one from the famous L1 manuscript. Yod, He, Vav, Shin, Vav, Ayin. Of course, that one's sadly a little bit damaged. And there are others, like a Masoretic note here from another Masora text. 
because there are in fact two times where it's spelled male, which means full spelling. Yod, he, vav, shin, vav, ayin. So um, for those who are teaching um, uh, Yahusha or Yahusha or some strange things like that, that's an invented word uh, which they can only accomplish in English and by actually being ignorant of the scribal tradition. And so the problem with the teachers like that is they're, they, they want to have the scribal tradition because that's where they get their scriptures. Because without the scribes, they don't have anything. But then they don't want to actually pay attention to the scribes. So they just want to you know, pick what they want, pick and choose, and then leave and then behave as if they've uh, stumbled across some revelation. So uh, avoid those people. Uh, Yehoshua is, is uh, the Hebrew name for Joshua, son of Nun. And of course, he is called Yeshua as well. Yeshua, just like this. Yod, Shin, Vav, Ayin. And we have this in inscriptions. We have this preserved in uh, ancient Jewish Aramaic. It is pres the basic vowel pointing is preserved even in the Greek pronunciation. It's the same. Yeshua, Yeshu. So this U vowel is, is very much uh, a part of the name Yeshua. So you can rest assured that if you call him Jesus or Yeshua or Yehoshua, you're on solid rock. So, well, this is Rob on the Rock, and I hope this has uh, been a helpful lesson for you. Shalom.